it was a very traumatic feeling and I wouldn't want to wish it on anyone. Actually, sometime in June in 2020, my son had been feeling unwell for quite a bit and eventually when I found out that um, it was a brain infection um, and I was very, very worried about what would happen to him uh, because I didn't know what made him sick. Was it me? Was it because I wasn't so responsible? I felt like I just needed to be with my family and just kind of pray very hard. So I was really, very broken at that juncture. I knew it in my gut that I was really shortchanging my son and I felt very guilty. There were so many things pulling at me. I was worried about what would happen um, for the needs of my residents. I started to tell some of my grassroots leaders, my activists, about my situation. And so we figured out a way for me to continue doing what I did. It allowed for me to balance that time, to spend time campaigning as well as actually find some time every day to be with my son. I feel that as a woman, you know, we face many challenges. Sometimes, you know, life just throws a curveball and um, makes things a lot more challenging. I think it's important for us to see how best we can work an arrangement to allow for people to achieve their aspirations. Making it possible for women to have it all. Come up with a workable solution that will then allow for all of us to thrive, to be the best that we can be and contribute to the community. I'm Rahayu, I'm your MP for Bukit Batu East.